Hi there. So before we get into today's video, just wanted to let everyone know that I have created an Amazon Affiliates account and I'm starting to retroactively go back into my uh, video descriptions and post affiliate links to um, you know all the products that I've reviewed, um, anything that I've featured, um, and just you know things that I use in my setup. So if you've ever been curious about any of these products or considered buying any of these products that I've shown in any of my videos, um, please feel free to go back and check the descriptions on those videos. Um, using those links to make your purchases really helps uh, me and the channel out. So without further ado, here's your video. back to the channel so today we're going to take a look at the AeroPress coffee making system so I've wanted one of these for a while to, to give it a try and and um, not gonna lie I really really like this thing um, I'll show you how it works um, show you two different methods of making your coffee with it um, and then I'll explain you know which of those two is my preferred system and why. Let's get brewing. It's early. I need coffee. Alright, so setup's pretty easy. So just pop the bottom off, take the plunger out. What you're gonna do you grab one of your disc filters and place it into the bottom cap twist it back on put it on your cup then you're gonna take your coffee coffee scoop. This actually comes with the AeroPress. It's a pretty sizable scoop, but um, it works well. I'm just going to stick one nice heaping spoonful in there. And you want to get those grounds, just kind of shake them out a little bit just so they're nice and level in there. Okay, water's ready. So we're going to take the water, just pour it into the cylinder. You might be able to see, but the water's already starting to go down through the filter. But we're going to take our little stirrer, which also comes with the AeroPress. I'm just going to kind of stir those grounds in good for about 10 seconds or so. I'm just going to take the plunger, get it seated in there, press it down. So basically it works kind of like a French press, except instead of pressing everything to the bottom of your cup or the bottom of your craft or whatever you're using if you're pressing them all down into a filter leaving nothing but coffee in the cup so 
this is just a fixed you know cylinder size so if you got you know larger cups or whatever you can use more grounds to make this more potent I guess because then what you want to do is just take your hot water add it to what is basically your concentrated mix of coffee and there you have it that is method number one I'm gonna enjoy this cup and I'll get back with you on method two alright so the second method very much similar to the first right so you're still gonna take your filter disc going to put that into the ring cap but this time instead of screwing it on and pouring water into the cylinder with the coffee it's what we've done put the plunger just barely in there like we're gonna plunge it and then turned it upside down so now what we're gonna do is take our coffee scoop and our coffee my preferred coffee is Folgers Black Silk take your scoop put it in the top Take your water, pour it into the cylinder, so where this differentiates from the first method I showed you, because when we poured the water in, the water had already started to drip through the cap filter before we really even got a chance to stir right so basically by keeping everything in the cylinder this actually gives us a richer cup of coffee for the grounds that we use so you can actually use less grounds doing it this way to get the same flavor as you would using more grounds the other way Okay, so we're all stirred up. I'm just going to take our cap, attach it to the top, take our cup, and just roll it upside down onto the cup and press. And it's an airtight seal too. I mean, you can see the air is going down with the coffee. So no liquid gets up into the thing, which is why we can do it inverse. The best part about this is once we're all pressed out, just unscrew the cap. plunge out the rest and then all you got to do is just take another paper towel wipe off the bottom of the plunger and now it's ready to go Ready to go for the next cup. How cool is that? So there you have it. The AeroPress coffee maker. My new favorite coffee maker. Huh. If only I'd have found this sooner in life. Anyway, hope you found this uh, product review and demonstration beneficial. Um, if you did, and you want to see more product reviews and just general van living type of content please feel free to subscribe give the video a thumbs up 
leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the Euro Press if you have one. Tell me if you're going to get one. Whatever, you know. Just let's make conversation. All right. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Just barely in there like we're going to plunge it and then turn it upside down. Shit. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do take our coffee scoop and our coffee, my preferred coffee, is Folgers Black Silk.